Hey everybody, as to the Corby Rock back some more Let's Play Pokemon Moon Blind. So last time we competed in Elite Four and defeated the champion, which was the Professor, and now we're the Alohan Champion. So yes, we're the very first Alohan Champion of Aloha. And then after that, we had a big celebration and party. <laughs> and then after that, we captured Tapu Koko. And yeah. So, now that we're done with the main story, there is still some extra content we have to do. Now, I don't know how much post content there is, but I was told there's quite a bit of post content in this game, so let's go see what they are. But first, we're gonna get this, whatever this is. Oh, Sydney wants to talk to you, Zert. I see that you've just collected another say guard crisp core. Each of these cores moves are memorized by the Zagardi cube, so you can use it to teach Zagardi moves as many times as you like. Everything is up to you, Bon Chance. All right, let's go see what what we can do. Oh, hey, mom. Looks like you slept well, Luna. Oh, hey, how? Aloha! The salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Oh, and there's that Cantonian Meowth. Look at that shiny coin on your head, kitty kitty. I finally got my gramps to go all out and be serious in the battle against me. I got some sweet rewards, so take this one, Luna. Good luck is best shared. Oh. A Dissidium Z. Oh. Well, thank you. Oh, another one. Now you can power up too, Luna. That's so nice of you, Hal. Thank you. Nah, no problem, Manti. Say, is Kanto like really far away? Uh. Hmm. Well, I, I guess it is kind of far, I guess. Well, it's true that it's not the next island or anything, but still close enough to visit whenever you want to. All right, then it's decided. I'm gonna get stronger and stronger, and then I'm gonna travel the world with my Pokemon. I'm gonna go find Lily, and my dad too. Your father? Oh yeah, him. <laughs> He's a strong trainer, or trainer, real strong, I think. But I guess he really hated being the son of a Kahana and everything, yeah? So he works far away from Aloha these days. I think I'm gonna go train up myself at the Battle Tree, then I beat you, Luna. And I'll be a champion next time I see him. Seems like a nice present, eh? <laughs> what is a Battle Tree, How? Oh, it's this thing way deep on Pawnee Island. Anybody who has passed the Island Challenge, or who is strong enough to, anyway, can battle it out with their Pokémon, or so they say. Luna, let's have the best ba ever battle at that Pokemon League sometime. No backing out. That's right. Now that you're the current champion, everyone is going to want to challenge you. As long as you have a love for adventure, then I guess you and your uh, you and your Pokemon's island challenge doesn't ever really have to end, huh? Nope. Hmm. Uh oh. Hey, you. You are the one they call Luna. 
Yeah, and who are you? Hmm. A certain interested party sent me here to you to give you this. Enigmatic card. You should have a look at what it says. But take care where you read it. No one else is to know of my visit or that card. Okay. Hmm. Written on is a request for you to go to a guest room in an uh, Akala Motel on Route 8. Hmm. Okay. So I guess we'll hit there first. Route eight. Mm. Here we go. That's a moat. Hell room, so maybe this one? Oh, I was right. So you actually came. Oh, I know this guy. You must be Luna, mustn't you? Please, you have to forgive me for my stunning disguise earlier. I'm very grateful that you accepted my invitation to join me here in my room. My name it is Looker. I am a member of the International Police. And this figure here is my boss. It is an honor to meet you, of course, the first champion of Aloha. Please forgive our rude summons. My name is Annabelle. I am the head of a secret division within the International Police. We are the UB Task Force. Please forgive me for the most sudden question, but I must ask. It is true that you are that you encountered UB Symbiont? Or Symbiont? Uh, I don't know what that is. Yes, UB-01, Symbiont. I suppose you knew it as Nalago. Wait, are you talking about the Pokemon that Gladian has? Is that what you're talking about? The International Police refers to all the UBS by codenames, like Symbiont there. I believe you might recognize it as the Pokemon that the woman Lusumain refused with. Now that we have cleared that up, please allow me to ask once more. Did you come in contact with Symbiont? That is with Nalago. Uh, yes I did. Just as we had thought. That seems to settle things, Chief. Listen, everything that we are about to share with you is highly classified information. We must ask that you keep all that you learned here to yourself. The incident that Miss Lusame caused, Symbiont wasn't the only UB to appear from the Ultra Wormhole that was temporarily opened at that time. We have confirmed the presence of another symbiont, other than the one you countered. And we have received reports of sightings of several other types of UBS. Oh wait, wait a minute. I think- no, it's not Gladians. No, I'm mistaken. I'm thinking it's either that Pokemon that Lucimane refused with. Right. 
think it's that one they're talking about. Okay, my mistake if I messed up that part. The UBS are dangerous beings whose powers exceed the boundaries of logic of our world. And they were dropped rudely into this world against their own will. We can only expect that they will be extremely wary and combative. And so, we have been tasked with three duties. The first is to investigate the ecology of these identified UBS. The second is to look out for UBS and protect the people from any harm. And the third is to either protect the UBS or destroy them. If the UBS are destructive beings that will seek some sort of revenge upon our world, then the order from above is to erase them completely. You mean like, kill them? But neither myself nor Looker would like to see that happen. Even if they are UBS, they are living creatures. We would like to protect them and save them. By protecting the UBS, it would seem to amount to, to catching them. And that is a more difficult task than simply destroying them would be. We do not currently have the power necessary to achieve such a goal. And I guess and this is why you need my help, right? And so, we finally arrive at the point. Let us dispense with any pretense. We wish for you, the champion of Aloha, to lend us your assistance. Luna, we want you to join our team. Please give your aid to the UB Task Force. Um... Uh, <laughs> well, it's just all sudden, but... I mean... I understand the situation, you know, it's not good and you guys want to protect them and stuff, I get that, so... I mean, if I could help in any way, then sure, I'll be glad to help. You accept? Thank you very much. So that means, Chief? I know, Mr. Looker. It's only a formality, but I still must test you to ensure that you can handle this job. Luna. May I ask you to join me in the battle? I'll wait until you are ready, so do whatever preparations you need, and then speak with me. Oh, a test, huh? Okay. Well, I think we should be fine, you know. Um, alright, so, you wanna do it now? I'm ready. So you ready for me? Let's begin then, shall we? Let me see your talent in its entirety. No need to hold back. I won't. Ah, oh, sorry, I like his name, huh? Alright, Oliver. Let's show him what we got. We file, huh? All right, where are you gonna stay? Oh. Hanging her all over. Oh no. All over. Oh. Good job. Make is, huh? Oh, in that case, there's she. Yeah, 
Eh, yeah, better switch. I do, yes. Alright. All right. Here you go, Tokikis. Oh, no. Uh, you gotta hang in there. That is it. You forced me to do this. What? Okay. What? Oh, dragon versus dragon, huh? Guard chomp. Yes. All right, all that's left is Snorlax. Actually, you better heal just in case. Thank you. I believe the testing is complete. I see no problem at all with your skills. Rather, I would have to praise you for them. I hope that we will do fine work together. So now that you are a member of our team, young Luna, you are most welcome. Then there is no time to be wasting. Let us begin your first job. The chief and I will set out to gather more information about the UBS. We want to ask you to visit the secret labs in the bottom of Aether Paradise. There you should find our other partner in this endeavor, the Vice Chief of the Alohan Branch of the Aether Foundation, Miss Wiki. She will know why you've come. Now set forth, young Luna. All right. The lower floors of Aether Paradise. That is where you must go to find the secret labs and to meet with Miss Wiki. Alright. But yeah, so I know who Looker is, you know, he's... Ever since he's appeared in, like, uh, Pokemon Platinum, which I'm pretty sure was his first appearance, he's been in every other Pokemon game since then. You know, Pulse game. I'm sure he'll be in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon as well, so... 
And speaking of Ultra Sun and Moon, um, I'm pretty excited for it. It looks pretty fun. Especially with the whole, you know, with the, uh, you know, Giovanni coming back and, like, like, having to, like, this ultimate villain team, team up, it just sounds so cool, you know? And I can't wait to get to that part in Ultra Sun and Moon. Alright, so it looks sort of peaceful for now, so I guess Aether Paradise is now good, I guess. Alright, let's head to the lab. Going down. Oh, there she is. Luna, welcome back. I have to tell you how much I appreciate what you did for Miss Lily and Madame Lucimane. Miss Lily asked me a last asked me a last favor before she left. She wanted me to explain to you why she and her mother had to go to Kanto. You see, while we do not know if it was because of Nalago's neurotoxins, her fusion with that beast, or the strain of the Z power, the ill effects of this episode on Madame Lucimate's body and mind have been undeniable. She has hardly roused since. But Miss Lily found a ray of hope in a book that she remembered reading long ago. It was regarding a man named Bill, who invented the Pokemon storage system used in our PCs. Oh, she's going to be... All right, I was also informed that the reason that Lily must have gone to Kanto was because Bill, back then, also fused with a Pokemon as well, I believe. And that she thinks he might have a way to help restore her mother's mind and stuff. Hmm, okay. This inventor, who lives in the Kanto region, once combined himself with a Pokemon, an experiment that apparently went awry. Yeah, see, like, yeah, exactly, like he fused with a Pokemon. <laughs> but why would he. Wait, yeah, why would he do that, though? I suppose it was the same sort of curiosity that led him to develop our storage system. The records of this event, however, say that he was separated from the Pokemon by using a teleporter and a cell separation system. Perhaps using the same kind of procedure on Madame Lucimane will be able to remove the last of the bee's poisons from her system. That is what Miss Lily was hoping when she headed to Kanto. It pained me greatly when both Miss Lily and young Master Gladian left Aether Paradise. But I am so proud to see the fine young people that they have become. Even sheltered little Master Gladian tried to patch up his own clothing, he said, when his par partner Null tore them. Oh, I'm sorry. You probably aren't interested in hearing about that sort of thing, are you? Here, please accept this. Miss Alisada? Oh, and take another two. Another one? <laughs> okay. Now I'll be returning to Secret Lab B so I can get back to work. Wait, that's it? You're not gonna tell me more? Not gonna tell me more? Oh. You sure? Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, yes. The matter of the UBS. Disclosing info on this is prohibited, so let's please keep this between you and me. First, please take these. Ooh, these balls. The International Police asked me to pass them to you. Are they like Pokeballs? 
Those are beast balls, which the Aether Foundation developed in great secrecy. They are a special kind of Pokeball that are specialized for capturing Ultra Beasts. As a result, they are very expensive to make, so we have not been able to mass produce them. Please consider your timing very carefully for when you use them in battle. The appearance of a UBS is something that we at the Foundation are to blame for. That is why I would do whatever it is within my power to assist you in this. For now, perhaps you should return to Miss Annabelle at the motel in Alaka, uh, in Akala. She may have discovered new info. Alright, so I guess we're heading back. Can we go this way? Nope. Alright. Welcome back. It would seem that you managed to meet with Miss Wiki. I also expected I also expect Mr. Looker will return shortly. Uh-oh. And you went to Sastro. Is something the matter, Mr. Looker? If you spoke in English, I might understand. Why is you so bothered? I'm sorry. It is a terrible habit I picked up. But we do have a disaster in the making. Sightings are being reported of another UB-01. It is symbiont. And the perp has been right here in Akala, Right under our very noses. Oh. Mission to start? I understand. Then Mr. Looker. Miss Luna. It looks like we have a job to do. My task will be to protect the populated areas. Luna, you will go to where the sighting was reported. Mr. Looker, you are to stay here and coordinate our backup if we should need it. I... I see. Backup is a vital part of any operation, Mr. Looker. We are trusting our safety to you. Yes, ma'am. Then I will be going ahead. Luna, stay safe. Good luck out there, Chief. Young Luna, do take care and keep yourself safe out there. If you ever are in need of more information, you may come talk with me. Um, okay. I guess I have some questions real quick before I go. What is it? Has something happened or do you need some information from me? Um, I finished the mission? <laughs> nah. Um, yeah, tell me about the UP. UP-01, codename Sibiont. Yes, I can tell you about Nylago. Nylago is a terrifying parasitic beast that can use humans or Pokemon as hosts. The site reports, the science report, a single specimen. Sightings were made at two locations. The Well of Volcano Park and Diglett's Tunnel. It seems likely, or highly likely, that the creature is on the move around Akala Island. What is it, uh... Maybe tell me about those beast balls? Beast balls are incredibly valuable Pokeballs. I asked Madam Wiki, who works in the secret labs, and she said a single ball costs millions. It appears you still have some on you, as well, 
Be very careful about using them. Alright. Roger that, my young companion. Then be careful as you go on your way. Alright, let's do it. Okay, so see, it was either Volcano or Dicklet's Tunnel. Let's check here first. Uh oh, I think it might be here. I think I hear it. Is it here? Nope, not here. Well, actually, what do you have to say? Fire and Z. You should throw it to the trial guide outside the captain's barricade at the bottom of the mountain. It's time for us to return to our dance. The feelings of Alohan people and our Pokemon and the true power of Z power. The answers lie in our dance and so you must dance on. If you're asking me to do your trial again, uh-uh. No thank you. Now looky there, Fire and Z. Congratulations on passing the trial. Thank you. Oh, I'll take that. Okay, so it's not here. Alright, then... I guess we have to go through Dicklet's tunnel, I guess. here. It's in here. Oh, 
I think I found it. I did. All right. Oh, gotta be careful. I don't want it to faint. So let me check what the beast balls do real quick. Special Pokeball designed to catch Alter Beast. It has low success rate for catching others. Alright. Alright, so let's not do too much damage. What? Oh, jeez. Okay. I think that should be good enough. Okay, I don't want to waste them, but here we go. Yes, yes, yes! Got him! Oh, I did it. Let's see. Oh, it's rock and poison. Okay. I want the Ultra Beast. It is unclear whether or not this Pokemon is sentient, but sometimes it can be observed behaving like a young girl. Huh. Okay. Give him a nickname? <laughs> uh, okay. Huh. What to call you? Oh, uh, I know what to call you. Uh, I'm trying to. Oh, uh, hang on, I'm trying to think of a name. Perfect name. Uh, I'm trying to think of a name. Uh, let's call you. I think I might know. Hang on. Uh, trying to think of a good name. I think, trying to search up the name real quick. I know. <laughs> I'm going to call this one. Nominee from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's not weird, but I think it's fine. So, Nominee it is. Hmm. Actually, let's have him to our party so that we can maybe show Looker. Uh. Sorry, Rose Raid. You're gonna have to go away for now. Yes, she successfully completed the mission. Report to Looker. I don't know, I think the name Nominee is fine. I mean, I was trying to think of a name that starts with N. 
I couldn't think of anything. I was thinking of Natalie, but then I thought, wait a minute, let's pick a name that I'm familiar with and that's, you know, in the heart to pronounce. So I thought, you know, why not do a nominate from Kingdom Hearts? Because, you know, it's N and it's not that hard to pronounce, so that's where I got nominate from. Hey, looker. I could finish the mission. Amazing. Bravo. You have done it. I must call the chief back at once. I finished sending the data from the UB you protected to HQ. And to Miss Wiki as well. Thank you for your hard work, Luna. With this development, I think we should... We will be able to solve the mystery surrounding Nalago. Or Nomine. <laughs> well, regardless of that, congratulations are in order, young Luna. I, the Great Looker, think I shall provide a great feast to celebrate your great success and to your addition to our team. There are some rather tasty restaurants here on this island, after all. Oh, but how would you know that, Mr. Looker? We have only just arrived in Aloha. Um, I read about them in the magazine they had at the local Pokemon Center. Don't you worry yourself about the details. I'll go and ask if they don't do delivery. My goodness, that Mr. Looker. Oh yes, there was one other thing I wanted to tell you. The original plan was that the UB you caught would be collected by the international police. However, We've been able to secure official permission for you to keep it, Luna. It was a bit of a hassle to get all the details ironed out, but... If we take the UB to headquarters, it would end up as a research project. Or subject. I expect it would be much happier staying with you, Luna. Oh, here we go again. Sist on catastrophe! Sorry, I'm not good at these languages. Mr. Looker? Yes? What is it this time? In English, if you please. I'm sorry. It is just a habit of mine. But never mind that. We have a disaster! I got a tip about a new UB sighting. This time, the sighting was on Melamite Island. I'm sorry, but we have to put our, f our feast. I understand. Let's hurry to Melamite Island at once. Yes, ma'am. I will go ahead to Melamite Island and set up a new base of operations at the motel there. Please join us there as soon as you're ready, Luna. We make for Melamite at once. We're trusting in you, Luna. Don't forget, the Melamite Hotel is on Route 2. Alright. Let's do it. Okay, where to is... Oh! Actually, it should be right here somewhere. I don't need you right now. Oh, here we go. Found it. Alright, 
in here. Yep. Thank you for joining us, Luna. Mr. Looker has already set out to gather more information about the UB. I have been waiting here on standby. I expect we'll have another visit visitor soon. A visitor? Uh, who is it? A mysterious person who claims to have some knowledge of the UB. He insisted that he would not share any more details with me until we meet in person. Or met in person. But if he does have any real insight into the UB, then we cannot let this opportunity pass us by. So I think it is best if you and I wait to take any further action now, and that we trust Mr. Looker to handle the field work. Though I do feel bad asking him to do all the work for us. I must applaud Mr. Looker for that remarkable energy of his. He is in a class of his own, even within the elite members of the International Police. I would never have expected someone like him to serve under my command. Oh. Don't mind if I let myself in? You are? How have you been doing? You're well? M Mr. Nano? My, it really has been a long time. But why in the world are you- I'm your contact. You want to know about that monster, right? Monster? So you are the one who reached out to us? I forgot about this Gahana meeting we were all supposed to go to. That's how I ended up stuck as the messenger. And here you are, girl. Your acquaintance with Luna? Guess you could say that. And do you have any some do you have some information for us about the UB that has been sighted on the island? It's not like I've seen it or anything. Just heard rumors, you know. Yes, so then could I trouble you to tell us what it is that you do know? What was it you guys were calling it? Beauty or something? Well, you'll find it in Verdant Cavern. Not just one of them either. Four of the things. The relationship between the two. Wait, wait just a moment. How do you know our code names? That is highly classified information. Hmm. No one wants to hear about that. Good luck. Mr. Nano was in fact a superior of mine when I first joined the International Police. I never dreamed that I would meet him once again under circumstances such as these. But if the information that he shared with us is correct, then there are multiple UBS this time. The situation is dangerous if we don't act at once. Oh, here we go again. It's in disaster. Mr. Looker, in English if you would. I'm sorry, but please, this is no time to care about my old habits. The UB sightings, I've gotten a hot tip. The perp really is right here on Melame. It appears that it is mighty, that it might be UB Beauty. It seems to be a beautiful yet dangerous UB that can move at incredible speeds. But that is not all. It is not one specimen, but four! Inverted cavern! So it appears this information was correct. Hmm? What's that? Did you just say something just now, Chief? No, it's nothing. I understand, Mr. Looker. Then, Mr. Looker, Miss Luna, it looks like we have a job to do. My task will be to protect the populated areas. Luna? We will go to where the sighting was reported. Mr. Looker, you are to stay here and act as our backup once again, in case we should need it. Hold it right there. Not again. This time I insist that I... 
please understand, Mr. Looker. You don't have a partner Pokemon with you. I cannot allow you to operate in a place where you're likely to encounter danger. And besides that, having such an experienced veteran as yourself serve as our backup is a final task in an operation like this one. Understood, ma'am. And I must be off. Luna, I wish you fortune in battle. Good luck out there, Chief. You take these, Luna. I received them from Madam Wiki. Ooh, more. Thank you. I trust that you will be careful out there, my young Luna. And one last thing before you go. Madam Wiki finished analyzing all the data that we gathered on Nelico. Or, on Nominee. A.K.A. U.P. Symbiont. If you wish to learn more about that creature, you should speak with Madame Wiki in the Aether Paradise Secret Labs. Now it's time we get to work, and I'm here if you need to ask me anything. Uh, do you have something new? Can you tell what the U.P. that I'm going to counter? U.P. Dash Zero Two. Code name Beauty. Yes, I could tell you about it. It appears to be a very dangerous and beautiful UP that can move with great speed. Sightings were made in Verdant Cavern. And the sightings report four specimens. So the goal of this mission will be to find and protect four individuals, if you can. Okay, so we got four to capture. Alright. All right then, but um, I think this should do it for this part, guys. I mean, I would do it this next mission, but I feel feel like you know, you know, it'll save it for next time. But yeah, oh no, so I'm kind of curious if you guys can let me know how many missions there are. You know, how many missions am I gonna do for this Ultra Beast storyline? Because right now I'm on the second mission, so if you guys can tell me how many missions there are, I would appreciate it. But, yeah, so, anyway guys, this is a good deal for this part, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment as well. And next time we'll complete more of our missions, capturing these Ultra Beasts. And then hopefully, you know, add them to our team, and, yeah. So, this is Mr. Cobra here, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.